Good morning, everybody. Good morning. God bless you. Amen. Deborah Fuller, J.D. Fuller, good morning. <laughs> Sister Connie Willis, good morning to you. Sister uh, Billy Perkins, good morning. Kenya Roa, good morning. Van Tinsley, good morning. The Lord Howard, good morning. Jack and Eli Banks, good morning. Catherine Carter, Walter Carter, good morning to you. There is no way, amen, I can live without the Lord. That's a fact. Sister Angela T. Stanford, God bless you. Kim Dean Close, good morning to you. Charlie Six, good morning. Blessings to you. Prayer on Wednesday. That's right. Thank God. Amen. Heaven Mason made it home safely this morning. Amen. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Sometimes these burdens get a little too strong, don't they? But we all should be able to say that without Christ in our life, there was no other way we could live. We could make it without Him. There is, there is no way. Hallelujah. I can live. My, my, my. Good morning, Sister Judy. God bless you. I've tried over and over. Good morning, Evelyn Bell. God bless you. Amen, Sister Connie Willis. We want to pray for the Willis family, the Barber family, the Bonds family, the Butler family, KP family. Amen. Good morning, Sister Jennifer Newsom. God bless you. There is no way. There is no way I could live without you. Charlie said, thank God for today. More prayer, more power. Amen. To keep doing the will of God. Amen. Amen. I have tried over and over. Good morning, Sister uh, Andy Sesson. God bless you. There is no other way. Hallelujah. There is no other way. My, my, my. Dawson McLean, good morning to you. God bless you, sir. I tried over and over. Amen. But I found out there is no other way. There is no other way. Hallelujah. There is no other way. I can live.
Amen. Good morning, everybody. We give God praise for another, amen, um, uh, prayer on uh, Wednesday. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For prayer on Wednesday. Amen. Amen. Somebody know today that the Lord is mighty. Hallelujah. He is mighty. Can somebody testify that God is mighty? Amen. Sister Osborne Turner, good morning to you. God bless you. Lord, you are mighty. Yes, you are. Lord, you are mighty. Yes. Lord, you are mighty. Yes, you are. Oh, Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You set your glory above in the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. When I think what all you made, the stars, the moon, and this, and this, yeah, all of that. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before the mighty God that we serve. Amen. Amen. Sister Osborne Turner said, good morning. Uh, prayers for traveling mercy for my niece headed back to North Carolina uh, on the train today. Amen. Amen. We pray for your niece. Good morning, Sister Cheryl Sesame Davis. God bless you. Amen. Sister Angela T. Stafford says, Amen. We serve a mighty God. Yes, indeed. Marion Bolden, good morning to you. Continue prayers for Theresa DeShield, the Shield family, the Bolden family. Amen. Uh, I'm feeling much better today. Thanks be unto God. Amen. Prayer for the Fuller family. Amen. Uh, the Lord's Howard. Yes, God, you're so mighty in my life. Amen. Good morning, Sister Charmaine Delaware. God bless you. Amen. Continue prayers. Uh, Sister Osborne Turner says uh, for our daughters. Amen. Amen. God is able. God is able. God is able. And we thank God for who he is to us. Amen. Uh Sister Evelyn Bell says, Pastor, I lost my nephew. He retired from the Coast Guard, I think maybe three years ago. Wow. Wow. Waiting on more information. Uh, I got a call about 1 p.m. on yesterday. Amen. We'll definitely pray for you, Sister Evelyn Bell. Amen. In the loss uh, uh, of your nephew. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. Is our prayer on this morning. Amen. God bless you. Amen. It's not easy. It's not easy. Amen. My brothers and sisters, um, um, I want to just share just a little word about prayer, if you will. Amen. And uh, uh, and matter of fact, it says God, God commands that we pray. He commands that we pray. It's not, a, it's not an option. He commands that we pray. We should pray because the word of God commands us to pray. We should be, uh, 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 this should be all the reasoning. Amen. This should be all the reasoning. Amen. Uh, uh, we need to govern our attitudes and actions towards prayer. Amen. As Christians, our chief concern uh, is determining how we should view a subject 
is the is to answer this, this particular question. What does the word of God say about it? Let me say that again. As a Christian, our chief concern in determining how we should view a subject is to ask the question, how does the word or what does the word of God say about it? Amen. What does the word of God say about it? Amen. Good morning, Deacon uh, Yelda. God bless you, sir. What does the word of God say about it? Uh, uh, if you're like me, you have a, a, a long way, amen, to go in submitting every area of your life to the authority of Christ. But our attitude must be there before our actions can catch up. Amen. As a teenager, I was given a bumper sticker. I saw a bumper sticker, amen, that said, uh, uh, if, it's God, if it's God's will, I will. That's what the bumper sticker said. If it's God's will, I will. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Um, and 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 so I'm determined to do uh, the will of God. Amen. He deserves and demands my total allegiance to Him. Amen. He deserves and demands my total allegiance, my unconditional surrender, and He deserves my complete obedience. This is why I'm committed, amen, to be steadfast in prayer, my brother. So this is why, amen, um, uh, we have set uh, Wednesdays aside for prayer, amen. Even though my flesh constantly struggles against prayer, amen. Prayer is an act of obedience to God. Even if there uh, were no practical benefits to prayer, and there are many, we should be devoted to prayer simply because the word of God commands it. Amen. I know you need some side order scripture, right? You want some scripture wherein the word tells us to pray. Okay. Scripture does not present prayer as an optional response. Amen. To life challenges. Prayer is a divine mandate. Here it is. The prophet exhorted. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. You'll find that in Isaiah 55 and 6. Call to me and I will answer you. And, sh and, and, and uh, says the Lord. And, 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 and I will tell you great and mighty things that you know of not. Amen. That's Jeremiah 33 and 3. On the Sermon of the Mount, Jesus, amen, uh, declared, ask and it shall be given you. Seek. And you shall find knock and the door will be open to you. That's Matthew 7 and 7. The apostle Paul instructs us. Amen. He says, do not be anxious about anything. Amen. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. You'll find that in Philippians 4 and 6. And then James asked, if anyone's suffering, anyone sick among you, he advised, let him pray. Absolutely. Let him or her pray. Prayer is our Christian duty, my brothers and sisters. It is uh, uh, an expression of submission to God and obedience upon him. For that matter, Prayer is arguably the most objective measurement of our dependence upon God. Amen. Think of it this way. The things you pray about are the things you trust God to handle. Am I right? The things, amen, uh, uh, the things uh, you, you uh, neglect to pray about are the things you trust you can handle on your own. Oh my God, isn't that something? The things you pray to God about the most are the things you trust God to handle. And the things you neglect to pray about the most are the things, amen, you trust yourself to take care of. Wow, ain't that something? Can you see why God commands us to pray? Prayer reflects our confidence in the Heavenly Father to care for our needs. Uh, uh, amen. 
When my children ask me for something, I typically respond by reminding them their dad is a poor black preacher. <laughs> but this does not discourage them in the least. Even when uh, they are asking for something, amen, uh, uh, I really can't afford. Their confidence in their father's ability to provide for them brings me so much joy. Amen. Moreover, God the Father delights in his children, bringing their needs to him. Amen. In prayer. It brings glory to the Father to respond to his children. Amen. Who pray in faith. But it grieves the Father. Amen. When we take our problems to others and refuse to pray to him about it. Believing in prayer, amen, is our sacred duty to the Heavenly Father. Amen. Continuing steadfast in prayer. Paul tells us, be watchful in it with thanksgiving. Colossians 4 and 2 says, what does it mean to continue uh, uh, steadfastly in prayer? And I'll finish right here. It means to be devoted. It means, amen, to be fervent. It means to be persistent in prayer. Amen. Let me bottom, let me bottom line this for you, my brothers, sisters. And let me simply say this. Don't stop Pray. Is that simple enough? Don't stop praying. Amen. 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 Now, my brothers, and sisters, if you will, put your put your prayer requests in now. Amen. And uh, we definitely want you to pray. Amen. For uh, my aunt, um, my aunt Sandra, and her son uh, 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 Dwight uh, David Hyman. Uh, please pray for him and the loss of my uncle, my mother's, uh, my late mother's oldest brother, uh, Dwight Hyman. Uh, he passed on yesterday. I believe he was uh, 93 years old. Amen. I believe he was 93 years old. Amen. And um, we were expecting him. Amen. At some point. Amen. To die. And um, and so on yesterday. Um, I talked with the son and, uh, talked with the son and the mother and my aunt and amen. They were at his bedside. Amen. When he took his last breath and, uh, my aunt Sandra told me that, you know, he died so peacefully. Thanks be unto God. He died so peacefully and she's not sad about it because she said he's not suffering anymore. And then I quoted the song. Uh, that we sang a lot doing uh, um, funerals. When peace like a river attenteth our way, when sorrows like seas billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Amen. And for Aunt Sandra and uh, my cousin, who we call Turk, they both agreed on yesterday that it was well with their soul. They were not like people who did not have any hope at all. Amen. But they both knew that they will see Uncle Dwight again. And so we thank God. Amen. I believe it was in October. Sister Sandra got us all together and we met at Little Union. Matter of fact, we had a Basically, a, a, a semi-family reunion, if you will. And my, and my last three uncles living, amen, were all there on my mother's side. Amen. And uh, we was able to enjoy them, to have some food, and they would tell us some stories of some things that we never uh, uh, knew uh, they went through. And so thank God for the memory of my uncle, uh, uh, Dwight Hyman. And uh, we give God praise for his life. Amen. And so pray, amen, for the Hyman family and the Sessoms family, uh, if you would. Amen. We definitely appreciate that. 
Yes, we want to pray for Brenda Jones. Thank you, Sister uh, Jackie. We want to pray for, amen, uh, Sister Brenda Jones, who will be having surgery on next week. We definitely want to keep her in prayer. Um, uh, sister Judy Presley Northley says, please pray for my sister, Venice, my niece, Wendy, and son, uh, and, and my brother. Amen. Sister uh, Stanford says, uh, pray for the Stanford family. Pray there will be no division. Amen. The enemy is so busy. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. You definitely want to pray for the Roa family. Thank you, Sister Kenya. Want to pray for the Roa family. You definitely want to pray for Sister Phyllis Williams and the Harris family. Good morning to you, Ruth Harper. God bless you. Amen. Um, and so uh, we want to, yes, pray for my sister Angela. Lord have mercy. Yes, pray for my sister Angela. Amen. Amen. Pray for my sister Angela in Jesus' name. Lord have mercy. Amen. Good morning to you, Ruth. Amen. We definitely want to pray. Listen, uh, I want to pray for all of you and again uh, to all of those my brothers and sisters, um, all of those that are on, amen, the, uh, uh, the prayer list, amen, all of those that are on the prayer list, um, at the Little Union Baptist Church, amen, Sister Tawanda says, uh, pray, amen, for my mother Hilda Howard, and for Tim, amen, thank God, I was able to pick Tim up from the hospital yesterday, Amen. I was able to pick him up from the hospital and take him home. Thank God that Tim is home, but we definitely still need to keep him in prayer. Amen. Amen. Definitely need to keep him in prayer. Amen. Something is going on and we need God to help him and fix it in Jesus name. And one thing we do know that God is able to fix it. Am I right about it? God is able to fix it again. Want you to remember these names as well. Um, Sister Tanya Afonso. Brother Henry Baltimore, uh, Jonathan Baskerville, Brooksy Bates, uh, DeWitt Bates, Herbert Bates, Robert Bates, Linwood Beckett, Lewis Bell, uh, Shanita Bland, Carolyn Brooks, James Russell Brown, uh, Ida Bell Kason, Amen, Arthur Carter, Elaine Carter, uh, Mary Cole, Amen, Tyree Crossland, Tina Davis, Carl Dean Wilbon, Theresa DeShiel, Everett Dove, Gene Dukes, Henry Edmonds, Herman Edwards, Amen, Scotty Fuller, uh, uh, Ora Glass, Tyrone Gomez, Douglas Gore, Reverend Douglas Gore, Samad Harris, Herbert Hinton, Crystal Humes, Sandra Heyman, um, Nancy Jackson, I want to continue to pray for Deaconess Rita Johnson, amen, Luke Jones, amen, uh, Verna Jordan, definitely want to pray for her, Donnell Kendall, amen, Eugenia Lynn, Sam Martin, May Minor, Monica Nolan, Monique O'Neill, Wilnette Perkins, amen, Annie Katrina Purvis, Celeste Riley, Ava Saunders, Angela Sessoms, Kirsten Sessoms, Andrea Smith and family, Ernest Sparrow, Laureen Starworth, Reuben Taylor, Emeritus, Deacon Emeritus, Joel Thomas, Willie Thomas, Irene Timbers, uh, Deborah Tinsley, Van Tinsley, Lauren Varner, Anthony Williams, Dupree Williams, Phyllis Williams, Tom, Tom Woodard. We want to continue to pray for the President of the United States, Joe Biden. We want to pray for the presumptive um, uh, uh, Democratic Demo, uh, 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 the Democratic nominee, Vice President Kamala Harris and their families. We want to pray for the armed forces. Amen. There are some right now that are on missions that we know nothing about. Amen. We want to pray for them. We want to pray for the Little Union family, but not only Little Union family, but our friends. And also to all of those churches, amen, whose foundation is built 
on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And praying for pastors as well. Amen. God is able. God is able. God is able. So Lord Jesus, we come knowing God that prayer is a requirement. Hallelujah. Prayer, it is, it is imperative, Lord, that we pray. And so God, we come to you today asking you, God, first of all, to forgive us of our sins. We have not done all everything right. We have not dotted every I and crossed every T. We still give in to temptation every now and then. But God, we want to thank you that you are faithful to forgive us of all of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God, help us to never be so high-minded that we cannot be in the earthly good. Help us, God, not to be judgmental to others. For with that same judgment, amen, that judgment we shall be met with as well. And so, God, we're calling on you today, the author and finisher of our faith, to look down on us, to hear our prayer, and to hear our call. We're calling on you this morning, God, because we know that there is no other power like God's power. Hallelujah. You, can, you got the power to say, let there be light, and there will be light. You can say, let there be darkness, and there will be darkness. God, you can say live and we can live. You can say die and the very breath of life will come out of our body. Lord, we want to thank you because you rule and you super rule. You can do anything, oh God. And so we look to you. Hallelujah. God, to take care of us. We look to you. Hallelujah. Have mercy on us. We look to you. God, to take care of us. And so God, today. God, we're praying today, knowing, God, that we need a closer walk with you. We're praying today, know that, God, we need you. Every hour, we need you. Oh, bless us now, my Savior, for we come to you. We come to you humble. We come to you empty before a full fountain, asking you to fill us with your Holy Spirit. Fill us till we overflow. Fill us with your spirit. God, if you fill us with your spirit, hallelujah, it'll run over and it'll run over on my family members. It will run over on my neighbors. It will run over, hallelujah, my pew partner. It will run over to whomever I will come in contact with. And so God, fill us with your spirit. Guide me over, great Jehovah, as we pilgrim through this barren land. We are weak, but thou art mighty. Hold us with thy powerful hand. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed us till we want no more. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed us till we want no more. Oh God, help us. To be like the deer that pants by the water brook. Let our souls pant for you. Let our souls hunger and thirst for righteousness. And if our, if, if our souls hunger and thirst for righteousness, I believe we shall be filled. And God will look into you, God, to hear and answer our prayers. Because there's nobody else. There's no one else we can turn to. But I'm so glad that the one that we turn to is the one that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. I want to thank you, Lord, for the joy that we have, joy that is unspeakable and full of glory. Thank you for the joy that's in my soul today. Thank you for the joy that even though God, we're experiencing, hallelujah, bereavement, disappointments, and letdowns. I still have joy. And God, I'm determined, and we are determined, that we're not going to let anybody steal our joy. Ah, uh, Lord, because we understand that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so, God, we're determined 
not to give anybody, not to turn over, hallelujah, and, and give away our joy. For this joy that we have, we understand that the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. And so God, we want to thank you for the joy of our salvation, hallelujah. And I know God that we don't have nothing if we don't have Jesus, for he is the joy of our salvation. We don't have nothing, no God, if we don't have you. We may have houses and land. We may have cars and clothes, but we still don't have nothing if we don't have Jesus. And so I want to thank you that we have Jesus. We may not have cars. We may not have clothes. We may not have houses and land and cars, but we have Jesus. And if we have Jesus, we have all that we need. For you're able to supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. And so God, while we're praying, we ask you to look down on your people today. Look down on this country, but not only on this country, look down on this world, because this world is in bad shape. God, the world is getting more wicked, and this world is getting more dark, but I'm so glad that you are the light in the darkness. Yes, you are. You are light, oh God, that cannot be hid. And not only are you light, but you made us the light of the world. Yes, you did, oh God. So help us to let our light so shine before men that they will see our light and they will glorify our Father which is in heaven. Help us to walk up right. Help us to talk right. Help us to be where we need to be. Help us, help us to do what we're supposed to do. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, help us to be obedient because we do understand that obedience is greater than any sacrifice. Do I give my body to be burned and have not love? I'm of a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. I want to thank you, God, for the love of God that's in us, even on right now. Thank you for your love, because there are some folks, hallelujah, that we should be bitter towards. There are some folk that we should be despising now. There are some folk, oh God, in real reality, we ought not to be speaking to. But I'm so glad, I said I'm so glad that your love dwells in us. Hallelujah. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. And God, today, we pray that your love, hallelujah, will be exhibited in our lives. And your love will be shed abroad in our hearts. In the name of Jesus, help us not to hold grudges against one another. God, help us to lay down every weight and the sin that does so easily beset us and help us to run this race this race that is set before us and while we're running help us to put on the whole armor of god yeah what yeah with our uh, uh, our loins girt about with truth having on the shield of faith and the bless the breastplate of righteousness help us to put on hallelujah the whole armor our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Help us to put on the whole armor of God in the name of Jesus so that we'll be able to stand in the time of temptation. We'll be able to stand in the evil day. We'll be able to stand when nobody else will, will are, are willing to stand. We'll be able to stand. If nobody else stand, we will stand. Help us to stand, even though it's not popular. Help us to stand. If mother don't go, if father don't go, if sister don't go, if brother don't go, I'm going to see the king. Hallelujah. I'm going to get my robe. Hallelujah. I'm going for when he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere huh, listening for my name. Huh, hallelujah. And so God today, huh, lift us up. Huh, 
where we belong. Pull us up out of the muck and mire. Help us to stop feeling sorry for ourselves. Help us to get up out of that pity party and be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. For this race uh, is not given huh, to the swift nor to the strong. Huh, but if we hold on huh, and if we hold down, huh, help us to be steadfast huh, and unmovable. Huh, always abounding huh, in the work of the Lord. Huh, for our labor will not be in vain. Huh, hallelujah to God. Huh, I thank you today. Huh, God help us. Huh, help us to keep on keeping on. Huh, help us to fight the good fight of faith. Huh, help us, oh God. Huh, where there's hatred, let us exhibit love. Hallelujah. When somebody is bitter towards us, help us to love them anyhow. When somebody don't want to speak to us, help us to speak to them anyhow. In the name of Jesus, help us not to seek vengeance on folk that do us wrong. But God, you keep in record even on our behalf. And you said, vengeance is mine and I will repay. And so, oh God, we're looking to you to fight our battles. We're looking to you to take care of us. I can hear your voice saying, I got this. Step back. I got this. I'll fight your battle. Yes, you will. I'll take care of this. Yes, you will. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to take care of you. Yes, sir. I thank you today, oh God. And so bless your people today. And while we're calling, Lord, we're praying this morning. We're praying for Ruth Harper and her family and her sisters. Touch them in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, I'm praying today, my God, for Sister Stanford and her family. Let no division come between them in the name of Jesus. We know that Satan is busy stirring up a wrath, trying real hard to block our path. But that's all right because God is on our side. And I want to thank you today that you're on our side. And if you're on our side, you're more than the world against us. Hallelujah. And God help us to understand that whatever we're going through, it's working for our good. It's going to come out all right. Yes, it will. Oh, yes, it will. Hallelujah. And God today, we're praying for Charlie's Hicks today. We're praying for her family. Will you touch them today? And thank you, oh God, for the praise report on yesterday. How she's home with her, her daughter's home with her children. She's able to cook for her own children and giving Charlize a break. We want to thank you today. And we're praying for Sister Charmaine Delaware. We're praying for her and her husband and her family, oh God. Be with them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're praying, God. For Chanel Jones, huh, will you touch her on today huh, in the name of Jesus? Huh, we're praying for the North Fleet family huh, that you will touch them right now. Huh, we're praying for Ruth Hopper's children huh, and her grandchildren. Will you touch them today huh, in the name of Jesus? Huh, we're praying for people, huh, my God, who's dealing with respiratory problems. Huh, will you touch them today, oh God, huh, in the name of Jesus? Huh, we're praying today, huh, hallelujah, for Sister uh, Dolores. Howard, huh? will you touch her God huh? and we pray God huh? that you everything will be all right huh? when she get her cast taken off today huh? in the name of Jesus huh? and yes oh God huh? we're praying for Vice President Harris huh? that no hurt harm or danger huh? will come upon her in Jesus name huh? hallelujah huh? we're praying today huh? for Tawanda Perry huh? her mother Hilda Howard huh? and, and Tim Howard huh? will you touch them today huh? in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. We're praying today for Angela Sessoms. Hallelujah. We know the devil is on her back. We know those uh, demons, oh God, are tormenting her. But we're praying right now that you would destroy every yoke in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Help her to be sick and tired of being sick and tired in Jesus' name. And I'm praying 
for Cheryl Sesame Davis. I'm praying for her husband and I'm praying for her children and I'm praying for her grandchildren. Will you touch them in Jesus' name? I'm praying for the Royal family. I'm praying for Phyllis Williams. I'm praying for the Harris family. Will you touch them in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're a good God. You're a kind God. You're a merciful God. I'm praying, God, for Judy, no fleet. I'm praying for her and her husband. And I'm praying for her sister, her sister Vernice. I'm praying for her niece, Wendy, oh God. And I'm praying for, amen, her son and brother. Will you touch in Jesus' name? I'm praying for Evelyn Bell. I'm praying for her family. Oh God, as they bereave her nephew, will you touch right now in Jesus' name? We're praying for Brenda Jones. Will you touch them? Touch her, God. God soothe her doubts and calm her fears. And God, we pray that you would guide, oh God, the surgeon's hand. And we pray that no bacterial infection get in her body, God. In Jesus' name, let it be a successful procedure. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. We pray for the Jones family. We pray for her husband. Oh God, we pray for Donald Jones Sr. We pray for Donald Jones Jr. And we also pray for Joshua Jones. Test him in a special way. We're praying, oh God, for the Tinsley family on this morning. We're praying, oh God, for the Yelder family of Conway, Arkansas. Touch them today in the name of Jesus. We're praying for uh, Stacy Simmons. Will you touch her today in Jesus' name? We're praying, God, for Jennifer Newsom. Touch her today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're praying for relationships. Oh, God. And my God, we also pray for the Bland family. We're praying for the Hyman family. Will you touch them, oh, God, today? In the name of Jesus, we're praying for Andy Sessoms and we're praying for Steve Sessoms. Will you touch them, oh God? Continue to bless them, I pray. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. We're praying, we're praying, oh, for the Osborne Turner family. Will you pray, God? We pray for her and her husband, God, Brother Turner. Uh, buddy man, London Black, will you touch him today, God, and bless them even the more. We're praying for their daughters, oh God, and we're praying for their niece, oh God, to get back home on the train, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Will you touch and deliver today? We're continuing to pray for the Fuller family. Will you touch them in Jesus' name? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, that you was able, hallelujah, to get uh, Heather and Mason home safe. We thank you right now in Jesus' name. We'll continue to pray for Marion Bowden. Hallelujah, God. Continue to bless her and thank God she's feeling better today. And we're praying for her sister, Theresa. God, that the spirit of depression uh, would leave her in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch her right now. Help her to keep on fighting, God. Help her to not give up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we pray for the Bowden family. We pray for the Risa Shields children. Will you touch them in Jesus' name? Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. God, you are answering God. You are prayer hearing God. You can do all things. And everything you do, God, you do it well. You make no mistakes. Hallelujah. And we thank you today. Hallelujah. Lord, have your way in our lives. 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 We pray, oh God, for Constance Willis. We pray for the Willis family. We pray for the Barber family. We pray for the Barnes family. We pray for the Butler family. And we pray for KP, oh God. We pray for Grace Barnes today. Will you touch her today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, for the sick everywhere. Hallelujah. We pray for those that are in the nursing home. God, that may not have received a visit. And God, in years. And God, in so lonely. God, will you touch today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God, just have your way. Have your way. Have your way. We're praying for Kim Close. Uh, Brother Bernard Close. We pray for the Close family. We pray for May Minor, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for the, the Carters, uh, uh, Catherine Carter, oh God, and Walter Carter. We pray, God, for their children in a special way. Will you touch them 
in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 We pray for Jackie Banks. We pray for Eli Banks, God. And thank you, God, for blessing them. We pray for their children, God, and their grandchildren. Will you touch them in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. God, we even pray for our services on tonight. We pray for Dr. Duran and, and, and Star Bethlehem as they come, God, tonight and be a blessing to us. Will you bless us, God, in a special way? In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we just want to say thank you. We want to say thank you for being mighty good. We want to say thank you for opening doors. We want to say thank you, oh God, for being there. Hallelujah. When we needed you the most. And God, you was even there when we thought we did not need you. Thank you. Hallelujah. What a mighty God that we serve. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 God prepare us for whatever you have for us. Hallelujah. We thank you for your healing power. We thank you for all things. I pray for all my brothers and sisters. I pray for my siblings today. Oh God. Bring us together even the more. In Jesus' name, help us to put pettiness aside. God, help us, hallelujah, to be the disciples that you have called us to be. We pray for our churches all over this country. Hallelujah. Will you have your way? Have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for answered prayer. Glory, hallelujah to your name. We love you, Lord. We pray. We pray for that mother. We pray for that mother who's dealing with the son. Hallelujah. Who's got mental problems. And she's even afraid in her own house. Because he won't take his medicine. Lord, have mercy today. She's being terrorized in her own house. Oh, God. Have mercy today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cover us. Cover us. Cover us. Cover us. Hallelujah. 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 God, we thank you for this tool of prayer that you've given us. And we've set aside on Wednesday to call upon you because there's no other help that we know. God, this world is in bad shape. Matter of fact, you know it better than we do because you see all and you know all. And you know what goes on deep down in the crevices. God, you see. You see all things. So, God, we ask you to touch. We ask you to bless. We ask you to make things all right. We pray for this country. <sighs> Hallelujah. God, I pray that Donald Trump will not become the next president of this country. Because, for sure. This will never be a democracy again. Lord, it's a, it's really, it's really a decision whether we want a democracy or whether we want a dictator. And we do not want a dictator. Hallelujah. 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 So God, hear our prayer. Hear our cry. In the name of Jesus. We love you. And all things. And God, we know that you are preparing us for something that's greater. You're preparing us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My brother, sister, do you believe God is preparing you? Whatever you're going through, he's preparing you. He's preparing you. Hallelujah. That's it, Sister Charmaine. Lord, hear our cry. Hear our cry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for answer prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 He's preparing you. He's rearranging you. He's putting you back, Deborah, on the potter's wheel. <laughs> yes, indeed. 
Hallelujah. That's it, Sister Connor Willis. He's preparing you. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's training me. Glory to God. He's tuning, fine tuning me. My God, he's purging me. My, my, my. He's cleansing us. My God. Yes, yes, yes. Sonia Macy is her name. We're praying for the family of Sonia Macy who called the police. She had some mental issues. She was turning the stove off on some water. Amen. And she said, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. And then he shot her in the face three times. Lord have mercy. And the other officer was going to offer a man CPR. And he told him, don't even do it because she's already dead. Lord have mercy. Sonia Mason, say her name. Say her name. That officer has been fired. And he's been charged with first degree murder. And we pray, amen, that a jury will find him guilty for murdering that sister. Listen, she did not even have the hot, the pot of hot water in her hand to, to attempt to throw at her. And even if she did, my brothers and sisters, guess what? Hot water won't gonna kill him. It was not a threat to his life. It was not a threat to his life. Amen. Amen. And do you not know that officer within the last couple of years, amen, has worked for at least five to seven uh, police agencies? Evidently, he kept getting fired. Lord, have mercy. Let's pray. Let's pray for the family. Of Sonia Mason. Let's pray for her father. He's heartbroken. Lord have mercy. Yes, pray for the Troy Barnes family. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Son was fatally injured in a motorcycle accident. Lord, touch, touch, touch the Barnes family today. Touch Sonia Mason's family today. In the name of Jesus. Sonia Massey, M-A-S-S-E-Y. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Yeah, there's still some dirty cops. There's some out there. There's still some out there. Hallelujah. And for some of them, it's a badge of honor to shoot a person of color. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Bless you, bless you, bless you brother Tom, for the Philippines. We pray God's blessing upon you as well. Listen, my brothers and sisters, have a great rest of your day. Go with God. God will go with you. He is preparing you for something greater that maybe you can't handle right now. God bless you. Have a great day. I love you. In Jesus' name. Amen.